Look, the bottom line is this. These guys, they just don't want to give up on that economic philosophy that they've been peddling for most of the last decade. You, you know that philosophy. You cut taxes for millionaires and billionaires. You cut all the rules and regulations for special interests. And then you just cut working folks loose. You cut them loose to fend for themselves. You remember they called it the ownership society, but what it really boiled down to was if you couldn't find a job, you couldn't afford college, you were born poor, your insurance company dropped you even though your kid was sick, that you were on your own. Well, you know what? That philosophy didn't work out so well for middle-class families all across America. It didn't work out so well for our country. All it did was rack up record deficits and result in the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. I mean, think about it. We have tried what they're peddling. We did it for 10 years. We ended up with the worst economy since the 1930s and record deficits to boot. It's not like we haven't tried what they're trying to sell us. Now, I, I'm, I'm bringing this up not because I'm trying to relitigate the past. I'm bringing it up because I don't want to relive the past. These are the folks whose policies helped devastate our middle class. They drove our economy into a ditch. And we got in there and put on our boots, and we pushed and we shoved, and we were sweating. And these guys were standing, watching us, and sipping on a Slurpee. And they were pointing at us saying, how come you're not pushing harder? How come you're not pushing faster? And then when we finally got the car up, and it's got a few dings and a few dents, it's got some mud on it, but we're going to have to do some work on it. They point to everybody and say, look what these guys did to your car. After we got it out of the ditch. And then they got the nerve to ask for the keys back. I don't want to give them the keys back. They don't know how to drive. I mean, I want everybody to think about it here. When you want to go forward in your car, what do you do? You put it in D. They're going to pop it in reverse. Milwaukee, we are not going backwards. That's the choice we face this fall. Do we want to go back or do we want to go forward? We do not give up. We do not quit. We face down war. We face down depression. We face down great challenge. We have lit the way for the rest of the world. Whenever times have seemed at their worst, Americans have been at their best. That's when we roll up our sleeves. That's when we remember we rise or fall together as one nation and as one people. That's the spirit that started the labor movement. The idea that alone we may be weak, divided we may fall, but we are united, we are strong. That's why we call them unions. That's why we call this the United States of America. I'm going to make this case across the country. Between now and November, I'm asking for your help. And if you're willing to join me and Tom Barrett and Gwen Moore and Russ Feingold and Herb Cole, we can strengthen our middle class and make this economy work for all Americans again and restore the American dream and give it to our children and our grandchildren. God bless you and God bless the United States of America.